boys and girls. Today we're gonna head outside to do some art. So let's go. Time to let the chickens out. Don't forget the green. Now that I got the green for the goats, let's go see what they're up to. Rise and shine, Clementine. <laughs> Another fun thing that you can do, um, really get inspired by outside nature to do creative things. Um, some inspired by flowers and just simple uh, animals and plants around us. And you can even make some paint and some drawings with uh, simple things that you find outside, like mud and like simple little dandelions. There's some well-known artists like Andy Goldsworthy, who's very famous for all of his different art sculptures that he does without using any glue, any paint, or any uh, any nails to make his things similar to this spiral jetty that I have here. As well as Deborah Butterfield. Now Andy Goldsworthy, he's a British artist from over in Europe, but Deborah Butterfield, she's an American artist that was inspired by her many horses to do her sculptures and she'll actually go around and find some driftwood and she'll create them. Sometimes she will use metal as well and she'll use nails to, to put them together or glue or sometimes cast them in bronze. So if you're somebody that likes to do different animals outside, a Wisconsin born artist by the name of Georgia O'Keeffe and she's very famous for doing flowers as well as skulls similar to these ones here, except she'll do a close-up of them, and so it almost looks like it's not a flower when you see it on that big canvas that she does. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna create some flower pictures using the stuff that we find outside. And so I know I said that you could actually use some mud to make some little marks onto your paper. And there's actually well-known artists that use mud and some of their drawings and paintings to recreate. So I created kind of a mud background on the bottom. And then you could even use some leaves. And you could actually find leaves and some artists actually will glue them or put them right into their paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue uh, collage using those leaves on the bottom and I'm going to recreate a flower scene. It's really nice to get outside and uh, one of the best things for you is to be outside in nature and get some of that sun in. So one thing that flowers need as well to grow are sun rays to get to them. So I'm going to take one of these dandelions and I know you've done this on your nose when you're playing outside, but I'm gonna actually do it on the paper. And you can see it's actually creating a really nice yellow sun line there. And I could even take some of these that we actually cut up and I could actually put them around the edges. So I'm gonna get some glue stick here. And I'm gonna actually sprinkle them around them. It's kind of like the litter of the out world, outdoor world, to have little petals. So then when I knock that off, you can see there's little leaves and little uh, flowers, petals on there as well from the dandelions. Now the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take a, a marker or a crayon, and you could do this with other things if you want to glue a stem all the way down, but I'm actually going to go ahead and draw this stem with my Sharpie and my markers. And there you go. I've just created some outdoor art with the leaves and with the, the elements around me. One of the fun things to do is to use recycled elements to make some things like this flower here that I made with just a cut up cup and a popsicle stick. As well as using the, the um, cardboard from an old toilet paper roll. This art piece is similar 
as it has used the stamping method that I'm gonna show you right here to go around. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut the cardboard too, or you can rip it if you want the petals to kind of be a different variation. And then you're gonna take some paint. You can even use some watercolor or watered down food coloring. And I'm gonna use these bright red oranges. And I'm gonna actually just take this and put it right into the paint. Now if you're somebody that doesn't like to, or doesn't have a big enough cup, then you can actually get a paintbrush or a Q-tip to do this too, and you can just paint the edges. <laughs> My goats are coming over, they're, they're getting curious. So they might make a debut in this scene. They keep trying to eat my flowers. <laughs> there he is! See, he's trying to eat my flower already. <laughs> oh, Clementine! <laughs> so then once I have that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press down and I'm going to go in a, and turn it into a round pattern. And you can see that these are going to be the petals for this. And I can even turn my paper. And this almost looks like one of those bushy dandelions for a carnation flower. So after I have that bushy flower like that, I can use my crayons or I can use um, uh, some paint and I can actually paint the stem in as well as the grass. Just a straight down mark for the stem. And I could even put some of those up in there too. Maybe a little leaf. <laughs> it is really nice to go outside to do some art, especially when you have different animals and different noises around. I know last night I heard some frogs chirping and we have some howling coyotes in our background too as well. There you go. Have fun and uh, enjoy the sun and outside today.